Okay, let's take a look at our task manager and see what we're running at. So, 10 routers up and running, lots of frame relay. We're going about uh, 17, yeah, we'll say 15 to 17%. I am bit torning in the background, and also I'm obviously recording this, so give a couple more percent on that. So really, I would say GNS3 and Dynamips are doing about uh, 12, 12 to 14 percent by themselves. So it's pretty good. So what am I running? I'm running a $900 Toshiba Core i7 laptop. I've taken the default 4 gigs of RAM and I've upgraded it to 8 gigs. So basically what I did is I bought an extra 4 gig stick, popped it in there. It was about 200 bucks from Newegg. You have to get DDR3 since it's a Core i7. Operating system is Windows 7, 64-bit, so you could use all the memory. And we'll just verify that. Winver right there. So you can see Windows, oh, okay. Windows 7 Home Premium and blah, 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 blah. We'll just take a look at our computer properties right there. So you can see there are 8 gigs of RAM, Core i7. This is the Q720. This is the satellite A505, 900 bucks from Best Buy. It's pretty good. And 64-bit. Make sure you have 64-bit. You'll be able to get more than the 4 gigs of RAM. Technically more than 3 gigs of RAM since your operating system is using one. And that's about it. So that was a quick look at the modified CCIE topology from INE. And the quick GNS3 settings, the iOS images. Remember, it's a single iOS image. I'm using the 3725, 12.4T. And you can see the layout here. You could practice with a lot. You don't have to start up all the routers at once. But obviously, if you have a fast enough computer, that is an option for you. And you can see here on a Core i7, it pretty much only uses about 15, 15 to 17% of your CPU power. Uh, we we'll probably should take a look at the uh, memory usage. Bring up my task manager. And you can see Dynamips not really using that much at all. Let's see, we've got sorted by name. Dynamips, Dynamips, Dynamips. That's all the hypervisors. So 192, 200, 200, 400. So we're using about 500 megs and whatever GNS3 is using. So 500 megs for 10 routers, it's not too bad. Alright, so that was a quick and easy view of the CCIE topology. Thank you for watching.